What's up guys, Chad with Character Club. Thanks for tuning in. This is part four of my Econoline build series. And today we're gonna be looking at the door panels. I made four custom door panels out of half inch birch plywood. All the door panels are functional or have some type of function. And in today's video, we're gonna look at how I did the rear driver door. It has a cubby pocket in it, which is great for like, you know, tools or gloves or whatever you can think of that will fit inside of it. So today we'll look at that. Don't bother getting popcorn. This is a quick video. We're gonna run right through it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and post them below at the end. Hope you like it and hope I inspire you in your van build. So your first step in making a door panel is to figure out how much usable space you have. You have to take into consideration your door cable, your speaker wire, your lock, any wires that are behind the, the, the metal that I'm cutting here. You gotta be super careful you don't cut any, and also you gotta be super careful you don't cut your fingers. Make sure and keep the saw away from your fingers. <laughs> very, very important. Um, so here, I'm just cutting away. I had already made a box, the box that will actually fit inside of this hole. So what I'll do now is just go ahead and test fit that box, make sure it fits inside the hole and then I move on to the next step. It looks good. Now I need to take measurements and figure out where the hole will be so that I can attach the box to the back of this panel. The box has to fit inside of that hole. So I make my marks, then I go ahead and use wood screws and wood glue to secure the box to the back of the panel. So you can see what I'm doing here. And I use those lines that I had, the measurements I took before to line this up so it will fit perfectly inside the hole. Quick test fit, make sure it fits, and move to the next step. Off camera, I went ahead and cut a three inch tall piece of wood that I am nailing to the back side of the panel. And when I flip it over, now I'll be able to actually use a flush trim router bit to go ahead and clean up all of the edges and make it look like it was cut on a CNC machine. It'll be super clean, and you're literally using the inside of the box and then the top edge of that three inch piece of wood I put in there, and that will give you your perfectly straight and square cut for the inside of the box. Give it a few passes, clean it up, and you're ready for sanding. Now I'll just give it a quick test, make sure everything feels good and flat, and then I'm gonna remove that three inch piece of wood. Since I have the router out, now what I'm gonna do is switch over to a 1 8 inch round over bit, and then just clean up all the edges of the panel, the front and back side of the panel. Now moving on to the actual back side of the box. For here, for this purpose, all I'm using is a piece of quarter inch, and then I'm gonna glue and then nail that to the back side of the box. This will not be a structural piece, so it doesn't need screws or anything else. All right, now we're on the last step, and I went ahead and grabbed a old laundry bag um, that we use for camping, and I cut it up, and it made a perfect speaker mesh. I doubled it up to give it a little, little thicker of a, a look, and then all I'm doing is just using a staple gun and stapling it to the back side of the panel. Pretty simple here. Now that I have all this speaker mesh trimmed away, I'm just going through with a 220 grit sandpaper. I'm sanding all of the edges, front and back, and then also the front side of the panel itself. It's important to get everything sanded. You don't want any burrs, uh, and you wanna make as smooth as possible uh, for when you move on to the next and final step, which is actually putting on the oil to give it that sheen. And you really, again, you wanna sand this as pretty good as you can. Um, it helps to have an orbital sander for the front part, uh, but I like to hand sand the edges because I have more control. And I also use a, a piece of sandpaper with one of those sponge sandpapers behind it. And I, I find it, it works very well for doing edges and keeping a uniform sanding. Okay, now that I've finished sanding, I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up, spray it off with, a, with my leaf blower dust it with a rag, 
and then break out the tongue oil, which is what I use to treat the, the plywood. So here what I'm going to do is I'll do two to three coats about an hour apart and I'll do it front and back and that will give it a nice natural look and it also protect the wood uh, when it's actually on the door because the doors itself, they will get wet in the rain. So you have to actually protect this um, pretty good. Next, what I'll do is I'll put the insulation in the inside of the door, which will be behind the door panel so the door is insulated. Now you're going to pre-drill all of your holes on the door panel in your shop and then put two self-tapping screws to hold the panel onto the door, drill out the rest of your holes, and then use your stainless steel self-tapping screws to hold the panel onto the door itself. It'll give it a clean look and it'll be very secure and look uniform because you've already spaced out all of your screws. Here you can see the inside of the pocket and the door is done. So yeah, I know I went through this video super fast. I didn't have great footage and it was I was kind of scrambling to find the footage in sequence of how I build the panels and I did what I could. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. Happy to you know, happy to answer any questions you have. And I hope I gave you guys some good ideas on how you can build uh, pretty simple door panels for your van build. I've done it now a few times and they, they come out great, they look good, and you can paint them, you can stain them, however you wanna do it, but they, they actually make the doors functional without taking up any extra space on the inside of the van. Next up, we have the custom roof rack and solar install that I did. Uh, that will be the next video that's going to come out hopefully pretty soon and i'm going to start cranking these videos out i promise to get the full van walk around out by the end of the year so i'm excited about that one we're only a few videos away uh, for the whole unveil of this van build if you've seen the other videos thanks for watching if you're tuning in right now i have a few other videos i'll put links at the description and that's it guys have a great week and we'll see you in the next video